So today's session is titled Modernize Your Infor Distribution Tax ERP with ProMobile and Pro Warehouse. Today's presenter, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be Gary Kurstein. He is the practice manager for our fax division here at Action. As far as the agenda is concerned for today, we're going to go into some quick information about Action. We have grown here recently. We're going to go into ProMobile, cover Pro Warehouse, go into some customer experiences with both solutions, and then end with that Q&A that I mentioned earlier. All righty, and about Action here. Well, thank you, Jared. <clears throat> this is Gary Kirstein. I think I do uh, know most of the folks on the on the uh, uh, webinar today. And uh, let me pick it up because we do have some very exciting uh, news to announce uh, as we as we present today. <clears throat> so about action, as it relates to those of you uh, on the webinar, uh, all of you know that we are a uh, an Infor Gold partner, and uh, and we're selected a partner of excellence. Uh, in 2020 and, and looking obviously to uh, uh, emulate that again here in 2021. Uh, we have over 200 employees that work at Action Associates and uh, over 6,000 customers that we support in, in many different industries. Uh, as you, you see there, we're a national reseller of, of uh, IT infrastructure. And uh, the, the target markets that we focus on are the architectural engineering and construction market, the distribution and the manufacturing industries. Now of note here is the architectural engineering and construction side of the, of the business. Uh, as of July 1st, Action Associates just grew that business by adding a uh, Deltec partner that is located in, in Minnesota. So we're, we're happy to announce we're over 200 employees now and as I noted, over 6,000 customers. So very excited about the recent acquisition uh, of the organization in, in Minneapolis. We are a managed service provider. Managed service provider means that we can be all things to your IT infrastructure. And that's very important uh, in today's world. And uh, while the webinar is not on that very topic, we have many webinars that do feature that topic. And, and I, I would encourage you to attend Everybody's hearing about ransomware and, and those type of things that are, are going on in, in today's world, unfortunately, as it applies to IT infrastructure, but us as a managed service provider and us owning two data centers, um, one in, in our corporate headquarters in Maumee, Ohio, which is uh, Toledo, right outside of Toledo, and the other one in Charlotte, North Carolina. And, and the beauty of those data centers uh, is or are if you're pre, if you're uh, uh, running your software in one of those data centers, we're providing all of the protection that uh, that a, a data center operator would provide. We have been certified and and have our our certifications as well. So, two key elements while the, the webinar is not on managed services and data centers. Okay, back to the Infor partnership as it applies to all of you today. We are the largest North American distribution partner for Infor. I noted that we were gold uh, before, but not only were we gold uh, in the last year, but we've been gold for 25 plus years with Infor. So have a wonderful, wonderful relationship with them and uh, excited to, to continue to uh, move their products forward, uh, benefiting you, our, our customer base. So, before we get into the actual webinar today, what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, the fax ecosystem because it is the crux of today's webinar and will be the crux of future webinars. Back in April, we conducted a, a webinar <clears throat> on digitizing fax and, and basically it was uh, featured on the, the fax 932 release. We went over Quite a bit of information um, on 932. I believe that recording of the webinar is on our website. So if you're interested in, in, in uh, viewing that one, that one took about an hour to present. But nevertheless, that particular one focused on 932 in the center of our ecosystem because starting with 93, uh, we, we have, uh, uh, I guess, captioned the fax product as fax 93 as 
the foundational release for which we have now worked diligently with other third party providers to integrate their solutions into the fax product and thus they make up the fax ecosystem so as you can see here we're going to talk today about the mobile sales order processing which is pro mobile and we're also going to talk about the warehouse management solution which is pro warehouse uh, and that will include some, some some conversation about rf and barcoding but please note that we have document management business intelligence financial data analytics Avalara sales tax integration, EDI, SendPost credit card integration, a wonderful e-commerce solution uh, connected with Optimizely, which used to be known as EpiServer Insight. We have Infor CRM now connected to fax, shipping and logistics, uh, not only just UPS and FedEx, but other common carriers. And, uh, and all of those are connected into the fax 932 ecosystem so we will be conducting future webinars on a lot of the balloons that you see here in our ecosystem presentation but let's go ahead and, and move into today's which will highlight mobile sales processing pro mobile and warehouse management pro warehouse okay so let's talk about pro mobile so what is pro mobile from a product overview standpoint ProMobile is a hosted web-based application, and it, out of the box, it was designed for your sales team to be able to place orders and quotes directly into fax. It's a real-time interface, which means that you can get data seamlessly from the fax database by using the API toolkit, and the ProvideX PX Plus web server, you're able to use common devices, phone, tablet, laptop, and gain information real time onto those devices inside of, of, of fax. The only thing you need is you do need an internet connection. So again, whether that's a cellular internet connection, a Wi-Fi internet connection, it's, it's really immaterial, but in this particular facet, you simply need to connect to the internet using your, your browser, and basically you'll have access with the Pro Mobile application to your fax data. Areas where you can view, as I noted, you can place orders and quotes, but also you can view inventory. You can view uh, quantity information, pricing information, view customer information including open orders, including quotes, including past invoices, and one we didn't even note here, including uh, AR information. If, if, if configured, if allowed, if that's something you want your users to have, they would have the ability to see open AR information. It'll support multiple companies. So if your fax installation has more than one company installed on it, you have the ability to log into a company and or multiple warehouses if your company uh, and or locations do have multiple locations you'll be able to view that inventory information about more than one warehouse so pro mobile is essentially having fax data everywhere you go and it's at your fingertips it is responsive so it is scaled to the size of the device the whole presentation is geared for whatever device that you're using it with so it eliminates scroll bars and those type of uh, kind of, in today's world, kind of hassles. All right. It allows for a quick entry of, again, orders, quotes, inquiry information. It's easy access to see contacts, phone numbers, email addresses, and directions. Now you'll notice over in the panel, things are changing. We're going to get into a brief little recorded presentation here on the next slide. But again, we can contact, have easy access to contacts, phone information, email addresses, including directions. I'll answer inventory questions. If configured, you're able to do price overrides right in the field. So again, just like any fax module that's resident on the desktop, 
There is a series of static controls for which you'll set up to allow you certain feature functionality. And if you're allowing your sales reps to override prices, then certainly that capability will exist. You can see customer notes and item notes. You can send field related customer notes and item notes along with the document to your back office and they will be embedded in the fax document. The next version of Pro Mobile will include barcode scanning. So if you've got a, uh, a, a, a sales rep that's out in the field and placing orders with their customer, kind of uh, maybe, maybe like a, uh, a convenience store uh, replenishment methodology, then you'll have the ability for barcode scanning, which will improve the accuracy and efficiency. And that's scheduled out in the next release. However, just as important is there is a B2B release. And what that means is that we can actually configure ProMobile securely to allow you to supply it to your customers for them to run it on their device, their phone, their tablet, their laptop, their PC if you want, but they can run it on their device. Now, naturally, they wouldn't be able to do price overrides. They wouldn't be able to see costs, those type of things, but it's a very secure environment for which you can allow your end user to produce their own orders and or quotations right directly into your fax database. And really important in it from a licensing standpoint, you do not have to license additional fax users. So that's extremely important, okay? Um, you will not need any fax users to run the pro mobile application. As I noted, it interfaces using the API toolkit and the PX plus web server. So you now equip your, your, your personnel with data access to fax without adding to your user count. So as I noted, let's take a look at a brief little demo. I'm going to, uh, uh, present what's going on as the demonstration is going, but this is a sample of what the screen will look like when you're in the middle of an order. You can see that we've placed some orders for some items here and available quantities and how many they're ordering and unit pricing, extended pricing. Again, if it's for an end user, gross profit would not be displayed. But let's take a look here. I'll, I'll start the presentation. You'll see the cursor moving about. So basically what will happen is Every user will have a secure login. You can see that you can access customers by customer name, number, or by salesperson because it's a Salesforce tool. You have the availability to, to locate customer accounts by salesperson. We went ahead and selected an account. You can see phone numbers are active. You can see contact information is active. And now you're seeing the past sales of this customer over a predefined time period. And in the presentation, we're starting to enter quantity information. We did a search. We could quickly enter quantity information from the past sales screen. And, and again, an indication of a price override there as well. Very simply, add to the cart. Again, you can drill down, look at past sales the last three times that they purchased the particular item and you can go ahead and add that information to your shopping cart. Product was developed by Ernest & Associates, one of our uh, uh, vendor peers. And now what you're seeing is you're actually seeing a template that was available per customer. And the, the, the recording will pause here at this point in time. What we'll do is for those of you that are interested in seeing more of the pro mobile application, we'll go ahead just contact Jared. We'll go ahead and get a time set up where we'll walk through the whole thing. But to finish my last statement, you can actually set up templates per customer. So a, a preferred shopping list for that particular customer, actually it's customer ship to location, and or you could set up one that maybe they're uh, promotional items that you're looking to, to feature with that particular customer. So you can easily copy from a template into an active order, okay? 
So the order will uh, end up in your fax database automatically. You could have the order go on hold. If that's something you want, that would be a parameter setting that we would do as well. So what's required for, for, for this pro mobile product? Well, the beauty is, is if your fax seven, eight or higher, 9.0.2 for quality. And the reason why that is, is that <clears throat> Infor released a new API for quoting purposes at the 9.0.2 release. So therefore, we're now able to pass quotations over directly to fax from the field. So 7.8 or higher, as you know, everyone should know, current version is 9.3.2. So 7.8.7.9.0.9.1.9.2.9.3. All of those are compliant with ProMobile, 9.0.2 for quoting. As noted, we need to license the API toolkit and the ProvideX web server. We'll form a secure socket with the fax database using the ProvideX web server. You do need a static IP address for it to be housed and communicated with, and then you need a, a, a self-signed certificate. So really, there's not a lot to do there. It's the licensing of the product. Naturally, we're gonna wanna look at your data to make sure descriptions are, are being displayed properly for your field sales reps. Certainly pricing needs to be reviewed, but it's a, it's a very integrated, very quickly utilized licensing once, once, you, once you've come to fruition with it. Okay, so let's take a look at Pro Warehouse now. So a little different twist. We had you guys out in the field selling stuff, guys and gals out in the field selling stuff, presenting information at their at their fingertips to their customers. Again, open AR, open orders, et cetera. Everything is relevant to that particular activity. But now we have to be able to make sure that one of the features that we would want to make sure is that your inventory is accurate. Pro Warehouse can be added to your installation very simply with facts, okay? And it's a barcode data collection system. And that's really an important element here as we speak. It's integrated seamlessly with shipping, with receiving, warehouse transfers, physical inventory counts, item interchanges, item inquiries, and now inventory adjustments as well. Again, if security is set to allow a warehouse person to perform an inventory adjustment. So what'll happen is you'll have devices, as you can see someone in the picture, that you're going to be used for scanning barcodes. And those barcodes are either product related and or bin location related. And again, they can be all the way down to serial number related, lot control related, uh, that's the best use of the particular product when you're able to scan the barcodes and, and, and the, the uh, Pro Warehouse product is able to produce the barcodes for you uh, in order to either apply them to your bin locations, to your shelves, to your product, whatever it is that we need to do as far as barcodes. Now, the beauty of it is, is that it's not a full-blown warehouse management solution. Full-blown warehouse management solutions, in my experience, can, can run upwards of six figures. This particular product is meant for you to move into the barcoding world, the, the, the remote barcoding world, i.e. wireless barcoding world, okay? Have you move into it to improve your accuracies of product either putaways or product uh, picks, okay, or counts, and also the efficiencies built into its integration with facts, which I'll cover. So, as noted, wireless terminal screens are required. Normally, it's a ruggedized uh, uh, barcode scanning device, and that ruggedized barcode scanning device, uh, you'll see an emulation here in a minute of what it looks like, but Again, warehouse personnel carrying them around routinely. Uh, they can be dropped. So we definitely recommend a, rug a ruggedized form of wireless device. You'll see a consistent screen presentation. 
It's very easy to use because everything's driven from a single letter selection. It prompts you for speedy entry. It, it allows for ease of entry of cross-reference barcodes. So yes, we can use the predefined UPC codes that are on the product and or vendor codes. We can use those, cross-reference them back to your fax product. That all can happen. As I noted earlier, serial and lock control. You can view primary and alternate bin locations from within the product. So we know where, where the picker is to go or the put away is to go, as well as alternate locations. As also noted, you can produce labels, okay? Based on security, if you allow your warehouse personnel to do adjustments, they certainly can do those. It'll eliminate the need for printed counted sheet storing, printed count sheet storing physical inventory. And again, that can, that can happen at any point in time, whether you're doing a full blown inventory or just some cycle counting. Very important. It's integrated directly to the fax database. So just like you saw in Pro Mobile, where it was talking directly to fax from the outside world, from within your warehouse facility, and it could be a remote facility, it's talking directly to fax as well, Pro Warehouse is. There's no secondary database. So any activity that occurs is real time. And there's a wonderful enhancement that can be licensed. Fax today, even at 932, will keep the total quantity count inside of the fax inventory master file. By adding the pro warehouse product and the quantity by bin location enhancement, not only are we enhancing the, the installation for pro warehouse, but we're also in, in, enhancing the fax installation, which therefore means I can have quantity counts per bin location. And again, transfer from my, uh, you know, my, my secondary bin into my primary bin using the barcode device for those activities. So as I mentioned, here's just a little screenshot of what your handheld. This is an emulator that I'm running here, but this is gonna be a screenshot or, or a good example of what you'll see on your device. It will require a user login password as noted multiple company. And then once you're logged in, you can see, I'm gonna stop it here. Whoops. Uh, okay, you see a, a menu, sorry about that. I tried to stop it a little sooner, but didn't get to it. But you saw the menu with shipping and receiving and et cetera. And basically what we're gonna show here is that you would actually scan a particular PO It'll go out and bring up the first item on the PO. So if your PO was scanned or if your receiving document had a barcode on it, now we're emulating a scanning here that occurs and we scan in that particular item. And what will happen is then you have the capability of skipping the item. You have the capability of looking up a cross reference. You have the capability of looking at print labels, bin locations. You saw the single character, there's the locations that are being displayed. If you're gonna put this item away in a, a different location, you have the ability to create bid locations on the fly. And again, that would tie right into the quantity per bin location enhancement. Notice the single letter backs you up, B is backing you up here. It'll back you up and back you up to, uh, back to the next particular item that you're, you're gonna scan on a PO, okay? What we found is personnel out there can do a good example is using it for item inquiries or item cross reference creation. You create the cross references on the fly. So if you get a new product in and you scan that particular new product, you can create that and link that to your particular fax item from your warehouse. So it doesn't require a back office function. And what we just showed there was linking the AKT1 to the 5227 uh, item as well, okay? And then last but not least here, we're gonna take a look at a quick screen for an item inquiry. And we'll go out, we use that cross-reference to look at it, we brought up the fax item, and again, you see all of the information that is related to the particular fax item. Okay, so just like we talked about with Pro Mobile. What is it that you need to have in order to install 
pro warehouse. Well, you have to be SAC 77 or greater. So a little earlier was designed back in the 77 days and it continues to be enhanced. Critical that your warehouse is Wi-Fi enabled. We have to have the whole facility Wi-Fi enabled and available. PX Plus licensing are required, handheld scanners. If we're gonna produce barcodes, we need to, certainly devices to do it. Just like Pro Mobile, we don't have any other user requirements. Okay, just our PX Plus licenses. And again, a couple of helpful hints here as far as bin location setups, barcoding those bin locations, and serial numbers. So, customer experiences, before we get to Q&A, Blair Candy, Altoona, Pennsylvania. They licensed the Pro Mobile product. It was for their field sales use of orders. They immediately started with four reps. The, test, the transitional process was clearly defined. Kyle Minch is the champion of the particular product. He works with all the reps in the field. Notice he accompanied them on some, some uh, visits. Here's some key elements. 90% of their, in one year, 90% of the field sales orders are coming in via Pro Mobile. Nobody's retaining, nobody's having to read handwriting, none of that type of stuff. Reps are more responsible. And Kyle told me that one of the users who he felt was gonna be the most difficult to convert has become the champion user at Blair Candy. And we, we put a few enhancements. They're in the tobacco industry, so there's some taxation, but. Uh, one of the enhancements that, that, that they've suggested to our developer is to uh, make people aware of duplicate items. Barco Industries, two warehouses, 12 devices, almost immediately within 90 days, added six more devices in Tulsa. They use it for all their functions, and actually they use it for picking and then order fulfillment. So they kind of stage their, their products as they go about picking. It does include serial number scanning, and again, over 90% effective at go live. They went through a nice transitional process. They're picking and shipping. Uh, Larry Roth, the data analyst there told me they gained at least one day on shipping their items. Okay, accuracy has improved, but the back office has improved immensely because order confirmation is automated now. We already know what they picked, okay? from the order and we just press the button and it imports everything. And again, they, they do manufacturing control, so they wanna move it into production confirmation. So enable, enable your sales force, real-time data out in the field, quotes, sales orders. You heard me talk about other feature functionality that's available. Also get your warehouse much more efficient, accuracy efficiencies in the warehouse without going to a full-blown warehouse management solution. We've seen that in a lot of cases, our fax users do not need dynamic putaways and, and those type of things. Questions, Jared? Were there any that came through? I, 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 I went pretty quick there. No problem, Gary. Looks like we did have a few questions come in for you. Let me go ahead and I'll start my camera again. Awesome. So the first question I saw that came in for you is asking, is ProMobile available to our customers for entry for their orders similar to an e-commerce site? Yes, I, I covered that pretty quickly, but we can certainly set it up such that it is a B2B environment and, and your customers could run it on their devices. The licensing is a lot less expensive um, uh, for you to, to, to make it available to your customer base. Absolutely, Jared. Okay, uh, looks like you have somebody interested in wondering the uh, go live, how long it would take for either product. Okay, that's a great question. Uh, go live is a little bit longer than Pro Warehouse because what we do is we sit down and we have a little session called, how ready are you? Are you barcode ready? Okay. And, and eventually in, in pro mobile as well, but, but are you barcode ready? Are your, are your, are your descriptions correct uh, for field uh, sales reps? Are you, are you, is your pricing correct? How accurate is your inventory? You know, the two products uh, don't necessarily mesh perfectly together, but they do with the addition of pro warehouse, your inventory has become that much more accurate and therefore your field sales is, is accurate. So Jared, I'm gonna say, you know, uh, Pro Mobile could be up, if, if your data is in good shape, could be up in 30 days, okay? Pro Warehouse probably gonna take a little longer, maybe 60 to 90. It just all depends on, on how good your data is. Awesome. 
Uh, the last one I see in the queue for you right now is asking for some uh, more information on the hardware requirement to run the two products. Okay, yeah. So again, not a lot of hardware on the pro mobile side. Um, it's any device. That's who your, your sales reps would need a tablet or or phone. Probably want to stay tablet with them or, or laptop. Um, but uh, again, API toolkit is needed. That software P, uh, provides web server. Pro warehouse. That's a little more intense, you, you know, again, Wi Fi enable your warehouse. We can help test that out for you. Uh, you'll need to ruggedize guns. If you need to produce barcode labels, you'll need some barcode printing software and label uh, and, and printers. But, uh, but again, no, nothing really outside uh, pro pro uh, mobile lives in the cloud pro warehouse lives at your environment. So as long as your servers have some space. Um, nothing really at, 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 at the back office that needs to be done. All right, and that is the last question I see in the queue at this time, Gary. Yes, sir. Okay, well, hey, uh, we know that was a quick presentation. We, we, it was meant to, to, to show you what's available to you. Full-blown demonstrations can certainly be conducted. We're gonna do more of these on the ecosystem products throughout the year. Just get a hold of Jared and we'll get, get set up for a, a full-blown presentation, take our time and walk through. But uh, as you saw in the two customer customer testimonials, these, these products pay for themselves in a very quick time frame. Jared? Awesome, and with that, uh, Gary, could you go to the next slide for me, please? I sure can. Awesome, and what Gary just did is he put his contact information up there as well. So if you'd like to reach out to him, that's his direct line as well as his email address. As far as today's webinar is concerned, though, we are going to be putting this on our website as an on-demand webinar if you'd like to reference it there. If you would like a recording, though, directly sent to you, feel free to send me an email. I've been putting my email address within the chat. It's going to be announced now as well. It is jgator, spelled J-G-A-T-E-R, at action with a K, spelled A-K-T-I-O-N.com. Send me that email. I'd be more than happy to get you a copy of that recording later this afternoon. With that being said, though, I'm going to go ahead and check that uh, Q&A one last time. I want to make sure I didn't see any other questions come in. All right, and uh, Gary, looks like we are all clear. Do you have any final remarks for us? Just thank everybody for their attention and certainly feel free to reach out to us for additional information. Great, thank you everybody and have a great rest of your days. Take care. Thank you.